What's the weirdest thing a medical professional has casually said to you? When I was like 20, my endocrinologist took a good look at me and asked are you okay with your face being so asymmetrical? I had never really noticed it before. But boy have I noticed it since. This is the part where all your dignity goes out the window. I'm going to tape your penis to your abdomen. If you don't mind, I'd like to show everyone pictures of your tonsils. According to her, I had the most disgusting tonsils she had ever seen in her years in the business. And gosh darn she wanted to show them off. When I was 12 I had a dentist say hold on I think I might be counting wrong. You shouldn't have those yet. Okay never mind those are definitely your wisdom teeth. Your mouth is just huge I guess. They said it was the youngest they've ever seen anyone get their wisdom teeth. They called in every dentist in the building to come look at my mouth. My surgeon. During surgery to replace pins in my broken finger that had been pushed out by my own body I'm really getting them in there this time. You little freak of nature. This is no joke. I had a medical professional say. I used to be a heroin addict so I'm pretty good at this. As she was putting in my IVLMFAO. I laughed so hard. Back pain. I'm not young. Doctor just said basically well. That's just life for you. You're tall. So I'm just going to end up being a hunched over 90 year old? Lol. You're not going to see 90. Um. Pardon? How many tall old people have you ever seen? Oh. Yeah. Okay. After destroying my knee riding BMX at 17. The emergency surgeon said wow. Really fuck that up. Ten years later and another serious knee injury from riding. I saw the same surgeon he did a great job on the first one. First words out of his mouth were I remember you. Fucked up the other one. Huh? Not me. But mom. She's in remission for a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma that invaded her brain. She was getting a scan to confirm the cancer had left her brain pan and the doctor came in and said. Good news we've scanned your brain and confirm that there's nothing in there. I had a doctor tell me that my metabolism is so slow that I would do very well in an apocalypse. Following a checkup, we're going to have to remove your kidding, you should have seen your face. My son is about your age and single, do you want his number? Gynecologist. If you want to help people. Don't go into medicine. As a doctor, I'm nothing more than a people mechanic. And much like a car mechanic, I patch people back together well enough to get them out of the door until I see them again. If I could go back, I'd run as far away from medicine as I could. You just hang on right there we will get you a wheelchair and admitted to the hospital. We have to do a colonoscopy. But don't worry I will knock you out before sticking a camera up your ass. If you ever tried to have a baby, the kid would snap your pelvis in two and rip you in half. Said by my gynecological surgeon. He said it in the most casual manner. I was mortified. ETA thank goodness I was there to get a hysterectomy. Ha <laughs> ha. I asked my cardiologist I had growing up what the goop was they put on before echoes. He said, yak snot. I believed him for way too long. When my girlfriend was in the ICU one of the nurses sorta shrugged and said dismissively she's gonna die anyhow. She should have. Her kidneys had shut completely down and she was so swollen that her tongue wouldn't fit in her mouth. We were making the decision whether to continue life support or not. She didn't die. A month and a half later she walked out of the hospital and into my car for the ride home. My previous OBGYN came through my line at my old job. For some reason I blanked on who he was. Like I knew I knew him. But for the life of me I couldn't remember how. He saw I was struggling and said don't remember me? I'll give you a hint last time I saw you you were in my office with your ankles in the air. Loudly. 
in front of a line of little old ladies fresh from church, wanting to buy flowers from the garden center. He was an amazing doc and figured out what was wrong with me when no other doc could. But in that moment the embarrassment could have killed me lol. I told an OBGYN during an exam my husband and I had just started trying to get pregnant and she said are you tracking your cycle or just fucking all time? Hearing that come out of a small elderly black woman was freaking hilarious she was close to retirement and had zero filter. Miss her rolling on the floor laughing. Doctor you look great how did you lose weight? Sun eating disorder anorexia. Doctor well keep doing whatever you are doing. It's working great. You have pretty blood. Followed by I bet you have heavy periods. Wow. You have the flattest feet I've ever seen. Walk in clinic. Doctor was an old man. Maybe 80. He asked where I live and I said across the street. Over JJ Street Meats Restaurant. Street Meat? We used to call prostitutes that okay roll up your sleeve. We'll do your blood pressure now. I had a really weird throat issue. It didn't hurt it just felt like something was stuck in there. I had been a vegetarian for years at this point and the doctor said I likely had a chicken bone. Stuck in there. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I was getting an EKG. Sitting there with my full titties out. And the doctor tells me I remind him of a girl he used to see in college. Do you swallow? He meant to ask if I have a hard time swallowing pills or not. Wait did he say he wanted to be awake? When I was in the operating room waiting to get my appendix removed. I met the anesthesiologist and asked him make sure I didn't wake up in the middle of it. I didn't want to be aware of what was going on. He counted me down and right before it all went black. He said this to the surgeon. I remember thinking you asho. And then it all went dark. Was a teen and seeing my pediatrician. There was a baby or infant in another room wailing its head off. After a few minutes, my doc said, don't mind him. We just lopped his leg off. What the hell is that? while pulling a small piece of metal out of my eyelid. That shit hurt. I snapped both of my Achilles while finishing off a set of heavy leg presses with calf extensions. I didn't close it all of the way and the sled crashed down on me, pinning my legs next to my head. Yes I was dumb not to use the safety pins they weren't there they constantly disappeared to. Other machines so I was lazy for not using them and paid the price. The doctor looked at my scans and said these are mirror images of each other. You must have good form. OMG. It looks like ground beef a doctor looking into my extremely painful strep ridden throat. He gave me a Z-pack from his stash there and then and told me to take the first one now. It was bad. Went in for my checkup six weeks after my second kid and the intern who was shadowing my OBGYN maid. The comment oh. Hey. You're looking great. Not to my face but to the bottom half of me. I live in an area where many people collect and search hard for specific bourbons and whiskeys. My psychiatrist found out that I work at a liquor store and asks me about the whiskeys my store has. In stock for a solid 10 minutes my APPTS are scheduled to be 15-20 minutes long. Every single appointment. I'm just trying to get my mood stabilizer refilled loudly crying loudly crying. If you don't need these pain meds now, you can save them for another time or doc giving me a bottle full of dilated for a broken thumb. The early 2000s were a wild time for prescription drugs.